Hi you guys, what's up and welcome back. If you're new here, I am Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you've already been here, as always, it's just your favorite YouTuber. This is so crazy, it's been so long since I've done a sit down video. Honestly, I'm kinda nervous. Let me see when the last sit down video was that I did because my last makeup video was over a year ago, wow. And I've been promising y'all a makeup video for the longest time. So we're gonna get into it today. We are currently doing vlog week. If you did not know, that is when I post a video every single day. I was supposed to start on Monday. I filmed on Monday, so I started the uploads on Tuesday. So it'll be Tuesday through Saturday. So if you haven't already, make sure that you do catch up on that. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this makeup look. So many of you guys have been asking me for my updated makeup look. It's very simple, it's very clean, it's very easy. I can actually do it in like seven minutes. I'm getting ready for work. If you don't know, I am a bartender at a golf club. Since I'm like the face of the bar when they walk in, I always like to look, you know, put together and just very clean and simple. With that being said, we are gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I feel like I gave you the full recap. We don't need to do too much talking. Let's just go ahead and get into the makeup. First things first, what I like to start with is skin prep. Your base is the most important part for this look. Honestly, any look in my opinion. So I always like to start with eye cream. Eye cream, I talk about it all the time. I'm using the Supernova Vitamin C Caffeine Brightening Eye Cream by Herbivore. This one is my favorite one at the moment. I've been using it for months. With my eye cream, I always like to bring it down more. Like I bring it down into this whole area, this whole under eye area, as well as my eyelids using this ordinary it's the niacinamide and zinc it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula i really just like the way that this has been making my skin look and feel i just apply like oh i just dropped that everywhere <laughs> okay so i just apply like two drops you don't need a lot and massage that all over my face and neck this stuff has like a firming agent in it. It's wild the way that my face feels so tight after using it. Then I go in with the It Cosmetics Moisturizer. I'm using the Josie Moran. This is the Get Even Sun Milk sunscreen. Face is nice and glowy. So here's what I do. Kosas Concealer. And I'm in the shade 08. I know that the trends are telling you to, which I was a part of this before as well, where you do a little bit of concealer here and then a little bit on the outside, but I've only been sticking with doing a little bit of concealer in the inner part of my eye. You know what I forgot? <laughs> before I go too crazy with the concealer. So I sometimes will use a primer and the primer that I like to use is this mattifying one by Milk. I get very oily in these areas here and on my forehead. And I like to put a little bit in the head of my brow. Although I love for my skin to be very glowy, I'm an oily girl. So my skin is gonna look glowy regardless. I like using a mattifying primer to help control some of that excess sebum. I let the concealer sit. I do that because I want to maximize the coverage. So I'm using the Fenty Cream. What is this? The Fenty Freestyle Cream Bronzer. And I'm in the shade Chocolate. And I just take this and go along my face. I like to go in with the bronzer. I really just like looking glowy and bronzy. So I apply it in all the areas that I would normally contour. Now this next step is optional. Hear me out. So I take the Fenty and this is like a Fenty tutorial. <laughs> I'm using like everything Fenty, but I take the Fenty matchsticks in the shade Truffle and I contour the top part of my nose just in this area here. And I gotta look in the mirror for this because I do not wanna have a crooked nose. And then I go on the top of my nose like that and then under 
under here. And with this, I like to blend it quickly, very quickly, because it dries quick. So I'm just gonna blend that out. And I use that as a contour for my eyelid, which helps to accentuate your eyes. So you just did two steps in one. Now, because this is looking a little bit crooked, I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer, put it down my nose, and just let that sit for a second. I'm gonna use the Fenty. This is the Eavesdrop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. And I've been using this like every single day. I'm almost all out, which is really gonna suck because I'm gonna have to go find another one. But it's just so good. I've been using it every day. I really like using cream products because I like having control. And I just... Why is it so dark? You don't have to do this. It's an optional step. But I like to use a lighter shade of the Blur and Skin... Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. It's the shade 17. The first shade that I used is 18. This is 17, and I just like to take this here in on the lighter part of my face in the spots that I would normally highlight. I'm gonna take a foundation brush, and this one is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. It's just the best foundation brush in my opinion, and I'm just gonna blend that out. Starting with the darker foundation shade first, and then I'm gonna blend into the lighter shade. This is just gonna help mesh all of the product together. And it looks like I used a lot, but I probably did. <laughs> I was about to say, but I didn't, but no, I probably did, but it's okay. This is a very lightweight product, so it's not gonna look heavy anyway. So now that I blended out the darker foundation, I'm gonna go in with the lighter one. And yes, the concealer is still sitting. Don't worry, this concealer blends like a dream without adding any extra product to my brush. I just go back in with the brush that I use to bronze and I just go around and blend, blend it all in with the foundation. Now we're going to blend out the concealer. And do you guys see that? Like a dream. And then I just take turn my concealer brush sideways it's the Sephora 47 turn it sideways and then I just blend and sort of pat and blend pat and blend I'm gonna set underneath my eyes and I'm using the one size powder I told you guys about this so many times I love one size products there is not a product that I've tried that I have not loved from that company anyway I'm gonna no 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 wait I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder set under my eyes first with this. What this is gonna do is just gonna sort of like set everything in place. I do this so that I could sort of blur everything out. So I use this to sort of set everything and then I use the one size powder to lock everything in place. Now it's time for me to do my brows. How I do my brows is I use the Huda Beauty, I use the Huda Beauty brow pencil and I always use the shade black brown. I like this one because it has a very thin pencil and so it gives more hair-like strokes. Sort of shape out or carve out my brow. I flick up my pencil like that to give more of that hair-like look. Don't just go in one direction. When I fill in my brow, I go back and forth. That way the product is distributing evenly throughout the brow. A trick that I do with my brows in case you don't really like the concealer look. Okay, so I take just a fluffy br blending brush and then I just go in and sort of blend into the brow. Remember the nose contour that you drew up into your brow earlier? That's what you're gonna use to blend up into your eyebrows. And this really helps to elongate and also lift your 
eyes. It gives a better finish than, in my opinion, than the um, concealer brow. And it's much more of a natural look as opposed to the extra defined look with the concealer brow. I still love the concealer brow. I just only like it when I'm doing like a full flawless beat. You know now we're gonna go in with my favorite step which is the blush and for blush i like to switch it up i don't have a favorite today i'm gonna use the saharan blush volume 2 palette by juvia's place and i'm gonna go in with yara because i really like how natural that looks i apply my blush here i don't bring it down to the apples of my cheeks anymore <laughs> like i used to i just go in with it right in here and i feel like it just gives such a pretty look to the face very subtle yet you still see that color there you know and you just apply it here and you can bring it up to the side of your face like your temple and then i just do the same on the other side and if you look yourself right in the face like look at yourself straight on you can see exactly where you need to apply it just on the side not directly on the temple i feel like it brings the face down or the temple not directly on the cheek i feel like it brings the face down when you apply it directly onto the cheeks so just right up here and again like i said i go in with the blush then we're gonna take the brush that we used which i use the sigma f12 this is going to help you brush off the powder that you use, the one size powder. And I just pat it in. I don't necessarily dust it off. I just sort of press it into my face or into my skin. And this is going to help to blend the blush with the under eye area. I've been loving this Fenty Shadow Stick. This one is in the shade Brownie Batter. I take it into the outer part of my eye. And I just smudge it. And then I take it on the lower outer part of my eye. I go in with a flat shader brush. This one is the Morphe M408 and I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit and sort of drag it out a little bit also. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the lower lash line. It just gives more of like a blown out look and I feel like this one is perfect for fall. And I'm using the Lancome Idol Lash Idol mascara i haven't had my lashes done in months i have been trying to grow my lashes back out so i've been wearing lash serum and doing everything i can to try to get my lashes back long and healthy now for the final step i'm gonna do my lips this is like my holy grail lip pencil it's the charlotte tilbury pillow talk 3 intense with aligning my lips, I always overline at the cupid's bow and then follow my natural lip line when I do the same thing on bottom. And then this is an optional step, but I like to also go in with the lip cheat. It's also Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Foxy Brown. And it's just a lighter brown, so it'll help to mute out the darker brown. It gives me the perfect brown lip liner for my complexion, in my opinion. And then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat in the shade Fenty Glow. And I have used this thing to the end because there's barely, <laughs> there's barely anything left in here, but we ball. And it's just a pretty nude, nudish pink. And it also has that lip plumping effect. Not saying I need it, but it's fun. A lot of the times what I will do is add lashes or like two or three lash clusters to my corners or to the ends, but I don't mind it like this. Yeah, no, 
she's cute that is it for my everyday ooh. that's it for my everyday makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also comment down below letting me know what your favorite makeup products are at the moment. These are all of my favorite products um, right now, what I reach for, what I have in my little, my little travel makeup bag. We can end off with setting the face with this hairspray for the face setting spray which is like a hairspray for the face because it is so good it's the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray <laughs> and because like i said i'm a bartender i want to look nice and natural and pretty throughout the day i don't want to look like a grease ball because like i said i am an oily girl i recently picked up this fenty beauty it's the invisimat universal instant setting powder i picked this up recently and it's been me me in this ever since i keep this with me in my purse and i just use it throughout the day as needed and it's a game changer for my whole routine so again i hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe comment down below letting me know where your favorite makeup products are at the moment your favorite skincare products and anything else that you want to tell me comment down below i hope you guys are enjoying vlog week i just wanted to throw in a little sit down video it's been a minute since i've done like real content so or over here because i post on tiktok you know my makeup videos and stuff but over here on youtube which is where i started and i don't know it feels good it feels good y'all feels good to be back so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Oh shoot, I forgot brow gel. How did I forget brow gel? Okay. <laughs>